Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Gonsuzan campaign. We're picking this up for episode 28 from turn 130 in the summer season of 216. So, hopping back in, uh, we're still making our push in the Central Plains. Uh, it's a slow process. Uh, they are condensing a lot of factions' forces together in this small area, so as we eliminate more factions, uh, it's going to make things a little bit easier for us. But right now, uh, it's still slightly difficult. So I think we have a chance to maybe capture Sima Yi here with Zhao Yun leading the way. Um, depends on how many forces we want to throw at them. Uh, looking at all the follow-ups that we have, I feel like we're fine maybe just setting up over here with an army. I feel like they might try to double team us with what they did. And if they want to double team us, they're going to have to not night battle us. So we're going to stack another stack right behind. So maybe we'll catch one as they move closer and then we can double team them. Uh, they need a turn, they need a turn. This is the awkward situation where the road doesn't really lead us back to the town fast enough. So most likely we're still going to pull back. We might end up losing uh, Guangling over here. Just because this stack, hmm, it's not super strong, but yeah, we're probably going to end up losing. Where's the boundary? Okay, so we're still on the fishing port, right? Because we want to be healing even if they take that. But that will work and they can double team whoever takes this. Uh, we have army behind enemy lines uh, around all this mess. And it's going to be kind of tricky. We could push against this, but they'll just retreat. We could also take this, leave this open. It's a level 7 uh, commandery. They do have a siege weapon, which is super annoying because they can start the fight. But would I mind losing it? Well, let's say I'm not going to be a fan of losing it. I will also take advantage of the ambush stance to see if we can catch them off guard. Zhao Yun will probably throw out attack. They moved. Um, we delegated quite a few battles over here with these forces, so they're kind of beat up. Hmm. The garrison's also going to be huge, right? Let's see if we can lure them in as well. Now this force is the one that's actually doing well. He also ranked up to 6. Um, Flame of the Phoenix obviously is great. Speed is obviously great. Do I make the general stronger? No, I want to make the retinue stronger because he's going to get his own retinue here. Hmm, what about... We're not going to take that. Actually, you know what, we're going to get the retinue and then we're going to ambush in place to let them recover. Yeah, because we, we probably want to lure them back because we can't reach that anyways. He has reached, so he needs to lead and then this will work out where we can reach that next turn. So it'll be the same. It'll end up being the same. Um, ambush? The lead on Badong has to be them. Just because they have the siege weapons. And then we'll, you know, sneak over by ship to reinforce when that attack happens. So that's what we're going to do. Um, they're still here. They're still here. I see an army here. It'd be nice if they wipe out Cell Tell's faction. That would be a great way for us to gain access to them. Okay, that's how things look like here. Ooh. Messed with the heir who recently got demoted. Administrator of Bohai, which we know is their capital, so that's pointless. Yeah, Wei is the one who I want to mess with. I need her to get more points. So next turn, it'll be at 55 and 30. We should discredit faction and get Dan Wei out of the faction. We already hit Zhang Liao. Yeah, he doesn't want to turn. Ministry of Hedong, we also hit her. So we also need more points. 
I just want more points so he can come back to us. I don't think there's anything left to do in the faction. He's coming back. Okay. So nothing needed to be done in the spy front. Economy wise. Still gonna favor corruption reduction buildings first. The main's ready built. Yeah, we should move to small regional so that we can upgrade that too. But that's a very expensive upgrade. Ooh, copper mine. That's very central. Hmm. Missing a state workshop here. Ooh, a terrible build here. What is this doing? Tom can upgrade now. Because we have an army nearby. Been on hold for so long. Um, I guess we'll return to our best commandery and start there. Because there's no corruption here. Alright, and we'll keep a thousand in the bank. That's fine. Although, maybe we can spend it. I'm sure we can build something with a thousand. Looks like we have spawned another yellow turban rebel there. Guess we cannot buy anything with a thousand. We'll just let them assault us and get themselves killed. Let us uh, continue here. Our ambush worked. We got Liu Bei's army here. They don't favor us. Uh, I don't need the garrison. I'd rather take the night battle. Um, the cavalry is hard to deal with a little bit. I mean, we do have some spear units. The rest of this is militia. Two strategists, so pretty garbage. And one level three vanguard. Okay. Like one strong unit. And a couple very annoying to deal with units, but should be fine. Alrighty, got ourselves a rainy day here. Um, most likely they'll turn around and fight us, thinking they're stronger than us. Mm, the way the... Hmm. I'm trying to find a place for my trebuchets, which has flammable rounds, but I guess this high ground would be where we're going to perk ourselves here. And we'll use regular shots, I think, for this type of weather. And let's see... We, we could use square. Squ square is basically used so like the AI, like the, the cavalry unit, right? They're not going to be able to fit through this. They're going to hit one of your sides and then they're, they're basically stuck here. So it basically absorbs a lot of pressure when you don't have a lot of units. Uh, we could also use this. Because that, you know, enables us to fire some arrows at the same time while protecting our units. Which is kind of what we want to do, I think. Just basically don't have enough to fully protect them, but maybe we don't need to fully protect them. I think this is good enough protection. And then we'll have him... Uh, actually, he can be a circle. Just be very annoying. Like, enemy units run into him, so they're stuck here, basically. Okay, I have to micro these guys. Um, what do I not want to happen? I guess we'll run down the range units. At least these two here. There's a crossbow man. He's not healthy. If he was... Actually, I think he can still win the duel. Even at this health level. With these debuff. He's gonna sit here. I mean, if I can get a duel... Would be great, but I don't think I can get a duel. Um, probably gonna, yeah, no, probably gonna run in, right? Let's hover these, hover these, pick him out, charge over here. Yeah, we're just gonna quickly tear apart these two simple targets and then just charge through. No route, no worries. Or roar. When enemy cavalry's come, we'll slam, and then we'll get out of here. Debuff. Use 10% of your health. There we go. 
Now kill the crossbowman. Alright, pull the units out. Let them try to go through the forest to meet us. He's gonna win. I'm I'm fairly sure he's gonna win. Alright, I gotta cut a little. Yeah, that's the one strong unit we don't really want to mess with. Alright, let's get these while well, they're still weak. Why am I trapped in the middle here? It's chasing a crossbow unit too much. Alright, get out. Are you back on your horse? He's trying to. Hmm. He might not get back on his horse. I can maybe help. Wait, this target. Smash. Mount, please, my friend. Uh oh, cavalry's here. Sorry, I can't help you anymore. Get on your horse. There you go, he's fine. Me back at the main units. Oh, we got a cavalry unit who squeezed in, of course. Now, how did they actually squeeze in? Pull him out a little. Yeah, we didn't get to see how he squeezed in, but he did. Alright, we're gonna go get that guy. Actually, no, we're gonna go get that guy. Call them two. Yeah, we lost the siege weapon, we lost the general. No, no. Well, we lost vision. Come on. It's, it's like fighting in a maze here. Alright, they're gonna fight those. Actually, no, we just gotta kite these two spear units. They're never gonna catch us. Ah, oh, where did they come from? That's fine, they don't have to worry about that one. One of you stay on that, one of you go over there. How hard is it to kill strategists? Come on. I'll take care of this. There's still a spear unit somewhere here. Cavalry's dead. Charge that. Actually, you guys get him. I'll get him. Route him. Where's the enemy? I don't see the enemy protector of heaven. Oh, he has a silver weapon. That's right. Maybe that's why he's doing so much damage. Break. Charge that. Oh my god. Can't you guys stay on top of them? Are you that much slower? 38. 30. Oh, they are that much slower. Give them a volley. There we go. Alrighty. That ambush worked. Softened them up a little for us. Ooh. I mean, if we grab her, they wouldn't have a siege weapon. 
it's time for him to die. He's ready 61. Yeah, we'll take her. Oh, my, my tongue's army turned around. Well, tough luck. And we get capture? No? Wow, surprised. I might take a bit more replenishment. Alrighty. Brother in arms, satisfaction increase between two generals, or leader and a general. Heavenly Sword from executing. Okay, so. They... Wait, what? What happened to the army? Like, they saw everyone and started running away? Like, even if they ran away, it looks like he recalled a few people. Or changed up the army. It might be still ambushed somewhere? I don't know. It might not be the same army. That's weird. We'll proceed with caution. Oh, a burned officer. Uh, I mean, I can never have him. He's just gonna debuff me, so I'm gonna execute him. Get rid of them. Alright, that helped. Not a lot, but it helped. And we're going to try that again. Because we're just in a very bad situation. Yeah, end up not fighting Talpi last turn. I think that's fine. Um, he's still going to be a prime target for us. Can we drag out the garrison when we fight her? Well, she's gonna run. Right, they're not they're not supporting each other. I have to move into reinforcement range. I might show up and help them just delegate this quickly. Although, although they can handle it, and then they can just heal on the spot. Yeah, I'm okay with Pyrrhic. Yeah, that's fine. We'll employ. The Yuan Shao's armor did help. Got even one of Yuan Shao's sons. We'll release him. Alright, so they're beat. We'll let you borrow a garlic. Oh, actually, I might not be able to do that. Yeah, he needs it too. I guess you guys can just heal up slowly. Speed for your units. And we might move up a little bit and ambush maybe here. Yeah. We got help coming. But we can actually go and tell peace faction by going to fight him here. He's not on march, but he, I don't think he has a place to run. Like, what if I fight Kongrong first? Because he can't run away from us. And then we fight Talpeet. Uh, doesn't have any faction unique units. We, we might still take him. Not bad. Well, he's gonna have to suicide into us. 
All right, so we're isolating Sapi over here. We got three armies over here. Chen is ours. Lucky you. Checked your, you know, checked your uh, items while we had the silver weapon. Let's see how they build it. Tag collecting, temple building. Ugh. Uh, it's not terrible, but I don't love it. So, get rid of that. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. They're stalled. Two army moving up. Zhang Fei's right here. They just took Nanyang. They have a tough foe. We got the trap going for the healing. They're not falling for it. But we should probably still wait a turn. They're crippled. We don't have to wait here. Yeah, he's behind us, but it's fine. He's trapped. It's not like he's a threat. The Maton's still nearby. He can't. Oh, he can't reach us. Oh, he's on march. He can't reach us. He also has a spy in the army. Yeah, I think the this army's job, Yan Bai Hu's job, he's a very busy man for us in this campaign, is to cut through a path out west through Wu Du, right? And then target the Emperor seat. That's kind of his job. Does he have help? Well, the ambush might actually work. Um, oh, can we ambush both coasts somehow? I think we can. Now we just need to get him to land. He might attack, you know, the settlement, but he has no siege weapon. It's a good army. The spies might help us out, but that's about it. I don't see any one coming. They might be coming. All right, so still the question is, where should they go? I feel like we have, what, four armies meeting over here? So they should probably just go over here, push into Liu Bei's land. Alright, let's first check. He's coming back. He's saving points, I guess, just to... Like, I don't care for these generals. The betray moment's probably better. I need discredit faction. I can't, apparently. Oh, because I don't have enough points here. Hmm. Two more turns, it's a long time. Ah, <gasps> Dewey's on the field. Okay. Is quite a faction. Commit. She'll get executed, but I don't care about her. About Dan Wei. The only should be zero, or should mm, I don't know if she I don't know if it will affect the discredit character one, but I think he should be zero, and there's a chance he could be coming for us or joining us. <laughs> 2.7. Well, we're not taking it. We're gonna just conquer him. Although, in the, in the spirit of things, I don't think it actually goes against the rules because it's just like. I mean, the difference between him surrendering to us and us painting the map with him, not a big difference. But I guess we'll go for it. We have a bunch of army over there. Um, so if that spy situation is what it is, the rest we can spend on 
level five copper mines. I might, I just want to rush this, I think. Look at that income jump. The corruption going down faction wide. Um, we have a couple more copper mines. Poya has one. Uh, I don't know if I can rush both upgrades. I can try. Nope, way too much here. So I guess we have to wait for that one. Too pricey. Although, is that the level 5 upgrade though? No, it's level 4. Right, so it's gonna take a while. Alright, no money. Let's continue. Alright. Topi with his one army still declaring war on other people. Chuchu didn't show up. Which is a little bit of sad news for us. Another one of Matong's general betrayed. No turncoats. Not enough points. I could extract him, I guess. Like do a battle extraction. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, elsewhere, where did they go? Ooh, they slipped by. You keep going for Badong. I'm gonna go chase them. Is their target the Emperor Seat? They don't have the siege capabilities. I'm gonna send him out. Because he was ready he was originally on the field. That's a really good retinue. Although kinda of weird on her. I think he's in Poya, which is pretty safe. So I'm gonna send him out. How did he get a northern unit? Oh, because we gave him that. That's right. My mistake. Um, yeah, we're gonna have this group set up here. And then we're just going to chase on the north coast. They're fine attacking by themselves. That backup. And the main problem is how did they slip by? Ah, they didn't slip, slip by far enough. They're in trouble then. Wait, they abandoned Xiaopi. What? Oh, suicide. Right, right, right. Faction destroy here. Ooh. Come join us. I'll, I'll take all of you guys. Why not? That's a strange suicide. It's basically, I want to join your faction. Um, I can't see who else is here. Ideally, I mean, Zhao Lin's kind of stuck in the... Hmm. Ideally, we shift everyone up. He's on March, isn't he? Okay. I mean, we, we want to save time. We crush him. Oh, 
want that weapon. They have a siege weapon too. A duel. Okay, their general got injured. Alright, we're within reinforcement range of the town. Alright, we'll take care of Tall Pete. I know the capture rate's much worse than Zhao Yun, but Zhao Yun has honorable as well. Now they get to go to some other faction. Which one do we want? No, no. What? Uh, hello, misclick. It, it clicked onto the character instead of the city. Okay, that's a bit awkward. I mean, I can still do this, but that leaves this and this kind of vulnerable, but... They have no seat. Oh! Hello. Goodbye. Even the AI doesn't give you a chance to ambush. You ambush right on the bridge? That's crafty. Good thing we can still reach. Okay, so all the army here are trapped. They can't heal anymore. The poor elephants. The Nama units just always delegate to die. Join's turnaround's really unfortunate. Alright. Someone needs to peek. You guys are kind of the all cavalry army. I need to see what's in in front. Nothing's in in front? That's it? That's all they have? They have no food. They're starving here. Siege. I, I don't have a siege weapon, but I can I can siege. I don't know if I'm in reinforcement. I think I am. That's close enough. This is a difficult place to take. We're gonna have to throw a trap here, I think. 100% ambush chance. And then we also have the army behind ambushing. We just need to catch them one at a time and then it's a piece of cake the rest of the way. This will also fight. We'll try to get the turn. This we're moving. Don't know what they're trying to do, but I think I have to come back and defend. Yep, they're going for the city. I think that's in reinforcement range. If not, we're fine. I'm, I'm not too worried. Worst case scenario, we retake the city. Okay. Nothing new there. We got one more fight, I think. Oh, and also a couple armies to move here. So we do have them trapped, but it seems like they could just, you know, make a turn on us and come to our backside and attack places like this. I mean, this unit's already crossed the river, so they should go over here. They can cut back here. They're beat up a little, but they're not beat. So you still gotta chase them a little. I mean, we got so many new generals. Um, 
these units look oh right she's on assignment now these units look nice our spy so let's see. Swap these with our action unique units. You get a couple of siege weapons. Give us a real front line. Ah, <gasps> we have the set. Huh, we have the set. Our heir. Oh, he's using trust of God, though. He's the only one who could... Um... Hmm... Take Tell's Hall Sword. I don't think he would mind. And then our son should automatically pick up the axe, I believe. Yes. And now we have the set. Plus 10 points of satisfaction. Okay, that's done. So you don't get anything. You can wear armor. That's fine. Nothing. Not against. Or maybe a more combat one. Military supplies, but maybe you don't need that one. Increase your cunning a little bit. has reach he will lead all right another army on the field four thousand and change left fifth building huh fifth building uh, land development probably and then maybe a marketplace at the end sixth building Linhai. we're taxing Linhai. oh huh why are we taxing so hard still? Might change that build. We're getting sieged? Not yet. Yeah, they're just asking us to build tax collections. Um, although that kind of means I should cancel this build use the money for corruption reduction starting here I have a thousand left which means I can do this fight now with the extraction I have a thousand oh, I don't have points um I guess we'll just extract him so that he's not in the fight and this way it's just Matum by himself that's so sad. We took his entire family, we took his wife, we took two of his sons, his best general and probably best friend. Not really. Pong 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 and, and Matan's not like best friends in history. But in this world, oh, got his horse. But in this world, maybe they're best friends. All right, no change. We got a little bit more money. We got a good horse rewarded to him, I guess. Oh no, but we have we have people like Zhou Tai. Hello. 
There we go. Um. Yeah, we'll just leave the army. When are you going to get six? Ah, oh, still pretty far. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, we have a little bit of spare change now. Made some money from that fight. Another stay workshop. And I think it's end turn time. Hopefully they fall for the trap here. This siege... Right, we're going to siege them. We're going to see if they come out and fight us. Because I... I can't, because right, because I don't have a siege weapon in this army. That's why it's being sieged. Let's continue. We did it. One of Dachia Son's army fell into our trap. I think they have a third one. I think I, I see another one in the back. But we just got to catch them one at a time. That was the goal. And we will recruit everyone. Oh, Kono found an opening. They're going for the lum uh, the livestock farm. Sure, uh, they can have it. We'll take it back. All right, we lost ourselves a settlement. We crafted ourselves a weapon, war blade. Not bad. Um, I don't know if they ambushed one army actually or not, because I feel like they did something like that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, regardless, we're gonna push forward. Uh, maybe have them walk first. What can go wrong? Because I think I saw another stack. Oh, right there. So no ambush. Ooh, this army is just leveling up fast. Poison arrows, yes. They're not on march, so they can they can run. Loyang's undefended? Wait, is it really undefended? <gasps> it's empty too. What happened? It's level four. Who killed the garrison? We have reached the Yellow River. <laughs> we did it. We cut a path through the central plate. Sure, there's a there's a minor issue behind us, but we finally have an army that reached. How does a level four place without a garrison? What happened to you guys? What happened to the garrison? And they pull their army back over here. So Bojun's well, gonna lose everything. Action destroyed? No? What does he have? I don't see any more land belonging to Lord Jun. Unless he somehow controls. No, he doesn't. Quorum controls. Don't. Mm. We'll square up. He'll die next. Zhao Yun misplayed. Um, yeah, we'll turn around, I guess. No, there's so many army behind. I don't think we should turn around. Okay. That other army is on march. I think once we clear this zone control, my army in the back can reach them. Yeah. 
Both of them. Yeah, that's good. Uh, do I care about this group? They can't siege the city. It was a trap. We basically asked them to siege it. Now we siege them. Don't worry. We got like two more armies on the way. Now about this situation. We took a very interesting path where we can't chase them down. They're bleeding out though. They can't heal. The only vulnerable target... I mean, they do have a siege weapon. They could target that. So if I want to cut them off, I want to cut them off this way. There's a bridge here. I mean, same thing. If they take it, I mean, they're on march. They can't take it. If they take it, we retake it. Do I need to march over, or is this enough? Oh, enough. It's all bait. Take our livestock farm, wipe out your whole army. Can we capture her? Uh, maybe? Oh, J Dragons, here we come. Who needs that reform? Liu Yao? Uh, Yuan, Yuan Yao? Yuan Shu Sun? He can't go anywhere. Okay, we'll go there. He doesn't need to help them. We'll follow right behind. Zhao Yun can't reach very far. Did I say two turns? Be one turn, right? No? Yeah, one turn. I think this is Taoyun's last army. He has the well, he has the temple, I think. Which I think I can take this turn. So I think I can wipe out Taoyun's faction. Well, okay, not that army. Oh, free movement across the river. That's nice. Um is that his last piece of land? Because I then, then I would just want to take it. And I definitely can, because we can do something like this. Um There we go. Drag draw in as reinforcement. Our daughter do the job. Piece of cake. There's our daughter, the reclaimer of Confucian temples, or temple. The temple to Confucius. He's born from. He's born here. Good job. Um, and then we can also heal here and move into the zone. Um, I guess we're gonna die for the coast here as well. Obey has quite a few armies over here. When night battle could be a pain, but they're just too into recruiting militias. So it's not really a big threat. They're continuing to sell. They're gonna attack Tribi. Really now. I mean, I wouldn't mind if they do. But then we bury them there. They take it, we siege them, retake it with two armies. Meanwhile, Bagong is free for the taking, and then we'll take the Kuei Pass on the other side afterward. Hopefully our son level up to 6. It'd be nice to see him using our faction unique unit. Hmm. We're going to have to stay here and play with these two a little bit. Ah, <sighs> nobody. 
see a reset a reset these hers reset she's not willing to betray them at 30 something so I don't think I can really mess with her hmm yeah it is what it is I mean from a military perspective things are going swell what do they do they landed on the other side they're like oh, a real army no thanks okay how many stacks do we have 18 yeah, that kind of explains our economy, but that's fine. We didn't get any boosts um, during the, the last this year's faction council. Maybe that will change going to next year. And plus, all the corruption building that we're building is going to finish up soon. Like now. Kami jumped by like a thousand plus there. And then we have another one that is two away. But that we can't rush. Not enough money there. Um... Stuff like that. We want to build as fast as possible. Only a thousand left. Not enough money. Can I refund it real quick? Is that not enough money? There we go. Alright, now we're poor again. Alright. Nothing changed there. I mean, there's just less factions now. And Obed's done with the war. Um, like, what? what's the take here? I mean, if we abdicate him now, we pick up all his armies on the field, which is kind of nice. I don't know who, if he has any unique ones on the field. Not sure. I don't think so. And then we just don't have to fight this portion, and we just can push into Coral. It would just speed up the campaign by a few turns. We pick up this as well. And the pass. Uh, we won't do abdicate. I think we'll just stay true to the spirit of this is total war and just actually fight out the rest. It's not too hard. Um, I mean, you know, speeding this up doesn't mean we are going to finish the campaign faster because we're simultaneously going for both. So. You know, since we have to go for that anyways, we have time to go for this. Like, clearly this is going to be faster than that. Do we have any surplus market here? Nope. Any strategists? Right, we have plenty of strategists. There we go. And, uh, let's continue. Oh my god. Can you believe it? They offered it. I've never seen I've never seen this in the game. They quit. Right? Cuz we can, uh we reject. Alrighty, they vassalize someone, but they quit. The main thing is they quit. I've never seen the AI quit. They basically tell us, take our emperor seat, win the game. Uh okay. And then here we are playing This Is Total War. Be like, nope, not gonna take the easy win. I'm gonna march over there and take all your land. Gu Nu Wang? Taofi's wife. Ah, Taofi. I mean, only, only, only one turn, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I mean, it is what it is. We are going to continue to make the push ourselves into Adobe's territory. Going to send them right on that edge. Not merging. Misclick. We got to rotate the map for these type of things. We don't have siege weapon, but they do. Knock, knock. Deal that. Open up. And this is the last time we're going to see Hula Gate here. Uh, after we finish this campaign, obviously we're going to move on to the beta patch. Uh, patch 1.7.1. And we're going to have a new looking Loyang, which would be very, very cool. But first, still have the old one. And he's not even guarding it. 
Okay, we'll take your last piece of land. And you can suicide into us during the end turn. Alright, so what should we do here? They're trying to turn around. Got a rebel here. They're still trying to run. They're done. Capture? Come on, yeah, now you had enough. You can see the writing on the wall. Apparently, you can't. Alright, now we'll make we'll join the push here in the middle. We'll turn around, clean this up. Even though I don't think we need to turn around and do that, but there's also this issue and this issue, so I guess he can take care of both of that. This one I don't have to actively take care of right now. I can still push armies north. You have reach, don't you? You have reach. Okay, I should have made you lead. Hmm. Alright, since you need healing anyways, you go take care of that. Alrighty, looks like the army's wiped. Am I worried about this army sneaking over here? Maybe a little. Enough to stop the attack? No, I think we're gonna still push. Um, which army do the main push though? I think who's gonna use up the movement? So he should probably have more movement afterward. I'm gonna put him there. The poor elephant's gonna delegate to death again, but... That's fine. Yep, just the elephant. <laughs> Poor guy. See, how are we replenishing all these elephants in the north? It's like, where are we getting these elephants from? Fire arrows. That's the wrong item. Yeah, they still have a little bit of movement. Um, maybe go meet up with them in Dol next turn. So maybe go this way. Definitely has reach. I mean, I can't tell their movement because they're encamped. Uh, but if they remove that, we can always retreat. Um, they don't have siege weapons, so they can't take that. I'm over here. Yeah, we should be fine. He should be suiciding. Um, nobody still has... Let's go take care of that. Are we gonna? I don't think we're gonna cross the the Yellow River with these army. These will just, you know, make the push to the west. Our armies that are filtering up will take care of the northern part of the campaign. I probably didn't go back for him. Oh, he, hmm, interesting. Cross Trippy, but didn't take it. One general left, and they kept the turncoat one. Oh dear, they're in trouble, aren't they? All right, so I'm just gonna chase them with this army. No one has reach, so they'll just be slow. Uh, we will provide coverage in the north? I don't think so. I don't think we need to do that. Let's go coast and then go reinforce this army. They're on the run. They sense what's going to happen. Because we're going to take Kuei Pass. Back to back delegates. Pretty costly. But it's not like the army there can do anything about that. And then we're probably gonna rest up a little bit and then obviously take the weaponsmith. And they can back them up. 
this this is fine now with one turn coat situation here there's really nothing to be afraid of I'm just gonna let her save up her points so that we can turn her when that situation happens let's see what we can do faction council I definitely want industry although we have so many places that population growth is actually probably better but we're still building up a lot of things uh, additional builds in Nanyang, I'll take that. I don't know if that works or not. We don't have vision, so I, I can't say definitively if it worked or didn't work, because I can't see what's going on there. So we're not even going to test that. Yuan sees army, sure. Don't know which one he is, but extra range. Get our son married. Oh, actually, let's try this. Let's see if it spawns an interesting character. Since we're in Skan, maybe Da Chiao, maybe, maybe someone, who knows. Uh, we'll say, I mean, this is such a good bonus, but... We need future kids. Oh, that's a great bonus too. The mustering turn. Okay, we'll get all that done. Nope. We got a random lady. Um, that's fine too. The random lady is now our daughter-in-law. Uh, just a generic strategist. 35 for our 24-year-old son. Disloyal, charismatic, superstitious. Um, um, yeah, no, no. Uh, we'll, we'll keep her as a strategist. Zhuge Liang is making a good case to pass the family to him. He's the only one producing heirs for us in the third generation. Zheng Ziang, Gong Sun Su, not, not getting anything done. It's probably because he's an administrator. There is a thing, I think, that's still bugged, where the administrator has a lot of trouble producing kids. So that might be what's going on over there. He's like, Dad, I'm single too. I'm sorry, not enough female characters, especially later generation female characters in the game. And I don't trust Guan Yuwang. He's not, she's not willing to spy for us, so it's, it's a pretty bad sign. Although I could hire her and then immediately wipe their faction. Because he just has this. He'll suicide this. Oh, he's going to suicide this. Can I handle it? Oh, yes, I can handle it. Uh, right, he's going to suicide this, then it's not a spy situation. Right, you can't spy for a faction that's dead. Uh, that means Guan Yuan's still young, right? 32, not too young, because Hobby's kind of old too. Um, I'll snatch her up. Taking Talpi's future Empress of Wait, not a bad thing. Um, so let's hope you guys get together in a happy marriage. Nope. Okay, so were you two at least happy? Uh, can't can't do that on the same turn. I mean, I can find you. I, I mean, I promise we have some girl from a good clan, the Saho clan, perhaps. Mm. Don't buy from Don't Draw's clan. We can pretend she's He Jin's clan, Empress He's clan. Want to, you know, elevate the clan, Lady Liu? How old is Lady Liu? No, 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 we're not doing that. Okay, all right. I mean, the marriage is not too important. Um, let's get the reform. So we picked up the faction-wide one. We could get level five state workshop, the money-making version. The level five private workshop would be really good for all our places. Um, the spy building for the marketplace, additional spy, cover cost. The thing is, we're not picking up enough spies to really justify this. There's not enough turncoats on the game. Like maybe we can use this for the level four marketplace trick, but that's that's still very limited to only like one commandery. So I don't know if that's gonna be good enough for us. This might be the best one in my opinion, or like one extra administrator, which is also pretty good. I'll get this level five private workshop. Wait, 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 wait. My mistake, that was a mistake. That's not what that unlocks. Oh, it is, but it's, it's the, huh. How did I have level five before that? Um, oh, was it built already? Okay, so it is unlocked. I was, I was like, open this up and like, wait, there's level five building. When did I build that? There's level five here. I was like, 
Did I pick up the wrong reform? No, those were just pre-built by the faction who owned them. So I couldn't build them, but they, they had them built. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to rush is this. I, I don't really care about anything else. That needs to get fixed. That would just increase our income by so much right off the bat. And then I don't think I have any more copper, right? We didn't go west uh, through the Naman land. I think there's like two copper in that area. We just need state workshops everywhere. All these buildings that we picked up recently needs a lot of work. Like, what is this garbage? Uh, even this is bad. Stay workshop first. Although I could use another slot here. That's a great building, but I want to upgrade it. Alright, we're out of money. <laughs> They're like, Let's loop him around. This way, this way, see if we can get out. No, you can't get out. You just can't get out. Alright, we're probably going to use this as our last battle for the save point. Matone's army going down. He's going to summon new ones. That I'm sure of. Oh, we caught him. Release. If we can get leader on this, then he could possibly join us even after we wipe his faction. Alright, I'll well, push it and move. That's not going to get saved. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so we made huge progress here. We have pretty much control of the central plains. There's a little Shandong Peninsula for us to take. Um, the Kingdom of Wuhan is pretty much uh, capitulated. They want they offered us to to abdicate them, so that that's something just I didn't think was possible. Um, but we are gonna make the push. Uh, there's some scattered army behind. It's kind of annoying, but we should be able to take care of them. We have 18 stacks, uh, all full stacks, uh, making the push. We're still making 24k. We are probably going to make even more after we get the corruption all fixed throughout. And uh, we can push out even more stacks to speed up the rest of the campaign. Um, we're going to make a big push into the north very soon. We got two armies here. This one's finally kind of breaking through. We got two filtering back this way. They're going to cut through here and probably just take some pressure off of Ma Tong's armies from the south while they try to make a path through their capital. Uh, this is probably not the easiest path. The easiest path to play through here, which means Zhang Fei's army probably get the shine to cut through the fastest, which is fine. Uh, Zhuge Liang's there, Zhang Ziang's there, so that's a good army. Um, what we can probably do with this army is once we make the turn around Chang'an, which would be the main you know, pivot here, we can get back into the water after this unpassable area and just sail. Um, try to get through quickly to the capital, and then we just win because we would have 95 counties for sure. We have 81 right now, and we're gonna pick up at least everything here and a bunch of things on the way, and that would just be our victory condition. And this campaign will be over, finally. I mean, at this point, no one, no one's gonna stand a chance. Like, the North might offer a little bit of weird resistance just because um, they will have multiple armies due to the number of factions they have because it's not united. If it's only one faction left, they're doomed. Like, there's no way they can withstand us because the AI can only pump out so many armies per faction, even with the cheats. Um, and then for us to have 18 stacks, they have just no shot. Right now, as the number of factions get reduced through our, you know, fighting, uh, it's becoming easier and easier, and we're just going to be able to push through. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and see you guys next time. Bye!